Alright then, so now that we have everything set up, let's just go ahead and start writing our code. So the first thing we need to do is to actually create the models. First model we're going to be creating is the, uh, we're going to be creating the category models because our product needs to belong to a category. So that means if we have a categories of, um, let's say, cars, and we can have product under that category. So the car may be a Tesla, it could be a Toyota, could be an Honda. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we need to actually uh, go into our backend directory, which I'm currently in right now. And the first thing you need to do is you need to actually say PHP artisan make module. You can actually create all this module manually um, by going to your app and going to models and actually creating files like this. But this will give you a lot of stress so to actually make everything easy um plus it's going to if we use the command it's going to create some boilerplate code for us that we can just start using so we're going to say php artisan make model and the model name is going to be category and for this model we also need to create a migration file the migration file will to help us um, generate a database table and yeah so for that, we also need to create a factory. Uh, this will let us put in fake data into our database, and we can start using that. Even though we're not um, creating the 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 data, we can just create fake data and start using that. And we need to also create seeders. So basically, this is what we need to do. And if we should create enter, this will go ahead and create three files for us. So. Uh, it's actually created for files. Sorry for that. <laughs> so the first one is the um, category uh, model. The second one is the category factories, and the third one is the categories uh, migration file, and the third fourth one is actually the CDA file. So uh, for the category dot PHP file, this is just what we need to do. Uh, we don't need to actually write a lot right there and now uh, let's just leave that the way it is and what we actually want to do right now is go into the migration file and right here you can see that we have the category underscore table so this is where we're actually going to start um, start writing our code so for our category we want to have a category name and we also want to have a category description and probably a picture. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and just say dollar sign table. And this will be, uh, let's just say this should be a string. And right there we're going to say name. Okay. So um, the next one is to actually say table. And this will also be a test because it could it's a description, so it could be longer than a string. So if you notice there are memory assigned to each of these in your database, but if you don't know anything about database, you can keep following this video. But if you actually want to learn more about the different types of uh, data that you can store in your database, you can actually go ahead and take a MySQL course. Unfortunately, I don't have videos on my SQL right now on my YouTube channel, but I think I'll be making videos on my SQL. So this will be description because uh, it's going to contain longer test. And the next thing is to actually have table um, for the image because we need to actually store the image um, string name. So this will be a string and this will be uh, let's just call it avatar. Avatar. So for this, um, we might say we don't want our categories to have an image, so we're going to make this nullable so that we can just leave the feed null the way it is. So let's just go ahead and um, that's it. So um, the next thing we need to do is to um, is to actually run this. So we need to actually run this um, command. So for now, we've not actually created our database. So let's just go ahead and create our database. And if we should go over to our env file, uh, we're just going to ch 
change this value so we're going to say this value should be um, something shopping we're going to call it shopping and if we should go ahead and run this command php artisan migrate so this will actually try to migrate the migration file that we just created so let's just go ahead and click enter let's click enter and see what will happen so this should ask us some questions yeah so the database shopping does not exist in my square connection would you like to create it uh, we're just going to say yes and that will go ahead and create a database for us with the uh, category table so if we should go ahead and um, view this so let's just say php my all right then so you can see uh don't mind me this like uh projects i'm working on so you can see the shopping database that we just created and this is the category um this is the category um table that we created so that's it and uh, these are the name these are the fields that we created name description and avatar so this goes ahead and added created and updated at for us to so um yeah that's it so the next thing we need to do is to actually go ahead and um create our factory so what the factory is going to do is it's going to actually just going to um be like a template for our, our category uh picker data so for this we're going to say we're going to say um, name uh, for the name we're going to actually have some fake editors and we're going to say this uh, fake and name so we're going to have this and this will go ahead and generate fake name for our category and for the description for the description we're going to have something like um well assign this where you are actually referring to the model itself faker and this will be a sentence because we actually want um, a very short word so we have that but another thing we can do is to actually specify the model that we're using so this will be a protected value and this will be dollar sign model i actually equal to category so we're actually using the category class so class so make sure you that your file is imported right here so uh, if it's not being auto imported uh, you can just go ahead and type it out it still works fine and the next thing we need to do is we've done the battery we need to actually go ahead and done and actually work on the um cedar so for the cedar we're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and do that and uh, let's see category cedar so this is just going to what the category cedar is just going to do is it's going to just specify the numbers of fake data that we need to actually uh, create so let's just go ahead and create that so this will be app uh, slash models slash um, category oh uh, if you don't want to import your uh, if you don't want to import your category so i'm just going to import it so let's see uh, yeah so we're going to use a factory and we're just going to say create because we need to create some basic value so i'm just going to create uh, five so i'm going to create five so this will actually be count count um, five okay so we this is going to create five uh five fake data into our database right here so to actually make sure this work uh this might not work in your case just go into your category model in your category model just go ahead and uh if you don't have this just go ahead and type it use factory so that we can actually use that factory to create uh, fake data so to actually call that uh, let's go over to uh, 
database seeder so this is another file and if you go over to your database seeder so we need to actually call the seeder itself so this will be this and this will be um call category seeder and this will be pass okay so this is just all we need to do and to actually check if this actually works we just need to do php at some db cd so this we go ahead and see that db so you can see uh, that has been done and if we should go over to our cd now we can see we have data within our database if you remember we said this value to be nullable and that's exactly what we have so that, this will be the end for this video and in the next video we're going to be doing the same thing for the product and uh, i'll see you in the next video guys